And finally, for this episode, we have an email from Robert, who is looking for a little bit of help. And I'm going to have to probably turn to the MacCast community because I have a little bit of an idea on how to maybe solve Robert's problem, but I don't think it's perfect. And I bet you there's a perfect solution out there. Someone has a solution for this. Basically, Robert has a couple of Macs. He has an old Mac Mini from 2012 that he's replacing with a new M1 Mac Mini. Uh, Congrats to that. Robert, that is a great system. And also he has an older MacBook Pro that has a music library as well. So basically each one of these machines, the old Mac Mini and the MacBook Pro has an Apple music library on it. And the actual music that's on and in each library is a little bit different. They're they're essentially out of sync. And he's saying, hey, I'm getting this new Mac Mini. I'd like to really consolidate everything into a single music library and bring that over to my new Mac Mini. But I know there's differences between the one on my MacBook Pro and on my old Mac Mini. So I can't just transfer one over because I'm going to be missing some songs potentially from the other. But there's also overlap. So you have the potential for duplicates. So he asks, what's the easiest way to kind of merge those libraries and clean everything up is you know is there some way to put those two libraries together uh you could just try combining the two music folders which was the thing i was thinking about but there's good odds that some tracks or albums might get overwritten or not properly merged so you can like literally you know take all the contents of one music folder and drop it on the other one and then say hey go ahead and you know replace any duplicates or there's also the merge function Uh, that you might be able to use. Uh, But again, depending upon dates and times and things like that, that may not merge properly. And then there's also the metadata. I'm assuming, you know, your music library on the Mac Mini and your music library on the MacBook Pro might have different metadata with the files. And if you're just copying files over it, that's not going to get moved together either. So, you know, I would say you could kind of deduplicate or get the same music together you might be able to use a tool like gemini from macpaw gemini 2 uh, i know that has a great feature for kind of deduplicating music libraries so you c- could kind of you know create a copy of it throw all the music in one big folder and then have gemini go through that and find all the duplicates and you could try to manually clean that up but that seems like a little bit of a a process i know back in the day back in the itunes days we had a bunch of great apps that would deduplicate your you know your mp3s and your music libraries i remember an app i think it was called tune ranger that was incredible for merging and cleaning up your libraries but i don't think those ex- apps exist anymore they're still out there but they're they were really focused on itunes and i don't know if there's something specifically focused on apple music but again i'm not aware of everything that's out there i'm sure someone has a solution for this so i am throwing it out to you in the maccast community putting out the maccast bat signal i guess we need it we need like a a a mac cast symbol that we could throw up in the sky when when our community members need help i don't know what that would look like maybe uh you know the mac cast logo or it can't be an apple logo because that's that's too cliche and we'd probably get sued for that so if you come up with a good uh mac cast community bat signal uh mac signal that would be great mac cast signal Uh, That would be really cool. (laughs) Let us know what that is. But more importantly, let's help Robert out. How can we dedupe, clean up, and merge an Apple Music library and get all the music from two separate libraries onto a single library and hopefully maintain and bring over all the metadata and merge all the metadata and all that sort of stuff? Is there a way to do it? Is there a fancy tool out there that you know about that uh, maybe I don't know about? If you have that, shoot me an email, send me an audio comment, maccast at gmail.com. 